Hey everyone, my name is Nigel Bajos. Happy New Year. I know I've been on a little bit of a hiatus for the past month, but I'm back and I got a new video for you all today. Today I'm gonna to be talking about the key light that I use for my YouTube videos and how you can put together your own for under a hundred bucks. So I'm gonna have Amazon links in the description below to all of the products that I mentioned in this video. And again, if you guys buy from those links, it really helps out this channel. So to start off, you're gonna need a light stand. And honestly, the light stand that I use is super inexpensive, but it's been working really well for the past year that I've had it. And it's just a really cheap, newer 75 inch light stand. It's about $18.99 on Amazon. So that'll be linked in the description below. And that's the one that I use. So to start off, you're definitely gonna need a light stand. And next up, you're gonna need a bulb holder socket with a umbrella bracket on it. And there's one on Amazon by Fancier Studio that's like seven bucks. So that's one that I would recommend. And this is gonna be able to hold your bulb adapter and also the diffuser that we're gonna use. So next up is the four to one bulb adapter. This is just gonna allow you to put four bulbs into the one bulb umbrella socket that I mentioned earlier. So next up is gonna be the bulbs. Now, the price on these will really just depend on where you wanna buy them. If you wanna buy them on Amazon, I'll have a link to the ones that I use. These are by Alzo and they cost like $24 and it comes with a pack of four. So these have worked really well. They're not the best bulbs ever. They're not gonna give you the best color reproduction. I haven't really noticed a huge like green or magenta shift in the bulbs, but they are daylight balanced at 5,500 Kelvin. And uh, these are the ones that I use, but you could also just go to your local hardware store and pick up some bulbs there if it's more convenient for you. But yeah, you're just gonna need four bulbs to put into that four to one socket adapter. You could use less bulbs and that'll, you know, soften the intensity of the light because we're not gonna be dealing with anything that has a dimmer. So if you want to put less bulbs in, you can, but it's always nice just to have, you know, the extra bulbs if you need them, just to get a little bit more of an intense light source. So the last thing we're gonna talk about is diffusion. And I think that it is really important to have a diffuser on your light source because just straight light is just gonna look really bad. In fact, let me show you real quick. Okay, so this is just what my light source looks like without any diffusion. Obviously, it's really bright and I haven't adjusted my camera at all, but it's gonna cause some shadows and stuff like that. And it's just, even if I adjusted my camera's settings, there would still be some harsh shadows. So I'm gonna put the diffuser back on and then I'll tell you which diffuser I use. Okay, that's better. Now, for the longest time, I just used a umbrella like this to diffuse my light. This worked out really well for the longest time, but the only problem with this is that with the umbrella, there's no real control with your light. The light just kind of spills all over the place onto the ceiling and the walls and everything like that. So I started using a softbox by Newer. This is the 32 inch softbox and it only costs like 25 bucks. So that's the one that I use and it comes with the diffusion panel and it works with your umbrella bracket. So the only problem that I've had with this is that it's kind of hard to like tilt and angle the light. But other than that, it's been a really good way to diffuse my light and it keeps the light focused on me and it doesn't spill all over the place. So yeah, that's the one that I would recommend. And again, all of the links to all these products will be in the description below. But uh, yeah, that's the light that I use to light myself in these YouTube videos. I hope that was helpful for you all. If it was, it'd be great if you hit the like button. And if you wanna see more content from me, it'd be rad if you subscribed. And yeah, I should be having a lot more videos out in the near future. As you can see, I'm in a new spot now. I just got my own apartment. So no more having to deal with roommates or anything like that, which is great. So hopefully that'll mean a lot more content for me this year. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.